Well, the people have spoken, I guess. That's uh, a lot of votes for FTL. A lot of total votes. 52 total votes. I honestly was not expecting that many. It's a little suspicious that there were a bunch of FTL votes that kind of came in, like, in a big group, but, you know. I'm, I'm sure everything's on the up and up. Hi, everyone. My name's Duke. Uh, I haven't done one of these streams in a while, so, you know, bear with me. Uh, can you guys hear me, first of all? I have my, uh, my stream open in another window. Hold on a sec. And by another window, I mean my tablet. <clears throat> but the Twitch app is kind of janky, so I have no idea if it's actually working. You can always play Rogue Legacy if you get bored. Well, I'm not so much worried about getting bored. Uh, it's that I'm worried about uh, sucking. Because I honestly don't normally play these kinds of games. Uh, FTL is one of those games that I've been, you know, curious curious about for a while. You know, I've wanted to try it, but it's one of those games that intimidated me a little bit. Um, so, you know, uh, apologies if I'm I'm not great at this game. Hopefully watching me suck will be entertaining enough. And uh, j just a heads up, if you guys don't mind, uh, I'd rather not you... Uh, I'd rather you didn't send me like a bunch of advice about how to play and stuff. Because, you know, play, playing a game blind on a stream is kind of a... Uh, you know, it's kind of a double-edged sword, sword because, you know, it's fun to exper experience a new game and stuff. But if I'm just sitting here, you know, doing whatever you guys tell me, then that, that wouldn't be any fun. So, uh, I'm going to start with the tutorial, which, if you've played the game, you've probably, you know, already experienced this. So, you know, uh, I guess you can go get something to eat or a drink while I do this, and then I'll start the actual game uh, after after I look at all this stuff. <clears throat> okay. Captain of a Federation starship on a very important mission. Capital F Federation. So, this is an official Star Trek-esque organization. Also, I probably won't be able to pay as much attention to the chat as I normally do, so Apologies if I don't, uh, if I don't respond to you. If you have a specific question that you want to ask or something, just say Duke, and I'll see that message, and and I'll uh, it'll be easier for me to to see that among the the rabble. Uh, everyone's uh, everyone who's had advice has suggested that I play the game on normal, which is what I'll what I'll be starting on. Normal is punishing as shit, says Penfoldorf. Well, uh. I always play on whatever the, the medium or normal default difficulty is. The Kestrel. Okay, so this is my reactor. This is how much power I have available to me. Okay. Close all doors on the ship. Open all doors on the ship. Okay. Uh, hello, Lola Roos. Yeah, shout out to everyone in the chat. Um, in a second, I'm going to probably take volunteers. So don't volunteer just yet. But when I say, uh, if you want me to name one of my crew members after you, then then you'll have the chance to do that. Your whole meter is reduced to zero, your ship will explode. Okay, so this seems to be my main HP bar. Green system boxes are powered, white are unpowered. I'm providing no benefit to the Kestrel. Okay. 
Left click on the engine system icon and power will transfer from your reactor into your engines. Try to keep your vital systems fully powered. Right click to depower a system if you want to reroute its power. Oh no, I didn't see it in the chat. Thanks. Uh, good point, Lolarus. S Y S Y N C. Enter. <clears throat> okay, great. I would extra definitely play on easy. If you play the expanded ed edition content, you'll understand when you go to the new game option. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Try to keep your vital systems fully powered. All right, so these are all my vital systems: uh, shields, engines, med bay, oxygen. This one seems pretty important. Uh, you know, it's been a while since I took health class, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure you need oxygen to live. Your engine room took two damage. Its system icon has become red to show it is broken. Your whole meter has also taken two damage. Uh, okay. Your crew cannot repair the ship's hull, but they can fix the engine. Select your crew members using left click. Select multiple crew by left clicking and dragging. Select some crew to continue. Okay, so these are my crewmen. I guess I'll, I'll, guess, I guess I'll use all of them. Right click on a room to send them there. Try sending your crew members to the engine room. Okay, so I'm going to have to remember that this is the engine room, which shouldn't be too hard because it looks like it has the same symbol as the engine symbol, which means this is the oxygen bay. And this would be the med bay, or sick bay, whatever they call it, med bay. Uh, this is the shield room, and this this would be the weapons room. Okay, so you guys need to go in there. Crew members will automatically repair systems, fight fires, fix breaches, and fight intruders in the room. Fighting low oxygen and fire will hurt the crew. Notice that repaired systems will automatically try to repower themselves to their last power state. Okay. Silhouette above the power bar shows if the system is manned. Okay. So, if there's... I, I guess white means uh, there are people there, and an empty outline means there are no people there. So I, I don't know what it means if there's nothing there. Fire is broken out in your starboard airlock. You could send your crew members to put it out, but let's take advantage of your airlock. Open one of the airlock doors by left clicking on it, okay? Opening doors allows you to drain sections of your ship. Drain sections of your ship of oxygen and put out fires. An hour to duke before bed. Oh, hey, CPC Gamer. What's up? Nice man, is this your first try at FTL? Yes, it is. This is the first time I've ever played this game. Uh, I, I have watched one video, the Giant Bomb Quick Look, and it wasn't really, uh, I didn't really pay enough attention to it to, like, get, uh, you know, it, it wasn't enough to actually, like, tell me how to play the game. How long will you be streaming? I don't know, probably a couple hours at most. It, it depends on how deep I get into this game. Um, I, I doubt I, I want to play it for more than a couple hours, but we'll see. Rooms turn pink as the ox oxygen drains out. Your oxygen systems will slowly refill your ship once leaks are gone. Okay. We should FTL jump to the next location. If you don't currently have a pilot, you should probably send a crewman to the helm. All right. So, click on that guy. Uh, is that is that? I guess that's the helm. Yes. All right. So you need to go in there. Each jump consumes one fuel. Without fuel, you will be stranded and unable to jump. Okay, so you need a powered engine system. Makes sense. All right, so where am I jumping to? I, I guess it doesn't really matter. Save your current crew positions. Uh, right now, I'm pretty much just using the mouse. I don't have my keyboard. Like my my recording setup is kind of weird. My microphone is sitting where my keyboard usually sits. So uh, using hotkeys might be a little bit. Uh, a little bit difficult. There's no figure above a system that system does not need to be manned. Oh, okay. That's cool. Click on the jump button to, to continue. Okay. Oh, okay. So I can choose where to go here. Wow, this, this is pretty... This is pretty in-depth. 
Like, like there are a lot of places I could go. It's a good game. I'm sure you will like it. An hour or two is a good amount of time. Okay. Alright, uh, well. I guess I should take the shortest possible path to the exit, which would be going from here to here to here to here to here. So, I guess that's the direction I'll go. I guess the one hotkey I'm really going to need to have re have at the ready is the space bar so I can pause. A weak pirate ship is trying to destroy you. Special blue choices like these are unlocked by having certain upgrades or equipment. They are nearly always a good choice. Oh, I guess I'll choose that one. Oh. You can use spacebar or middle mouse to pause the game at any time to strategize, give commands, or reallocate your power. Well, I don't have a middle mouse button, so spacebar it is. I like the iPad port because I can play it anywhere. Yeah, I, I heard the, the iPad version of, of this game is really good. You need to power your weapon to fight. The amount of power required is pictured in the weapon box marked below. Left click on it to power it. A power, powered weapon turns white. Right click depowers a weapon. <clears throat> weapon will fire when ready. Make sure the game is on pause. Spacebar. Okay. Okay, so this thing is draining my shields. You can also use the hotkeys 1 through 4 to access your weapons. Oh, I have to target a room in the enemy ship. Okay, well I guess I should target the... The bridge. Oh, do I have to arm it every time? I guess so. Alright, so two hits drains the shields. Your two-shot laser cannot penetrate the pirate's level two shield, but luckily he can't get through your shields either. Every two powered bars in your shield system nets you one more shield. Some events can provide items. This one is providing you with an Artemis missile launcher. I should probably pause it while I read this stuff. Missiles pierce through all enemy shields. Use the missile to damage the enemy shield system and then your lasers can get through as well. Alright, so go ahead and arm that. I wonder if it actually matters which room I target with the missiles. Oh, I missed? What? You'll notice as enemy systems are damaged or destroyed, their icons turn orange or red respectively. Repeatedly attacking a red system will do no additional damage to the system, but it will still damage the enemy's hull. Reduce their hull to zero and they will explode. Okay, so once one of these rooms turns red, then I have to start focusing my fire on some of the other systems. But I missed, so... Uh, I don't have to worry about that yet. If you need a reminder for what each enemy system icon stands for, you can mouse over the green symbols along the bottom of the target box. Okay. Should be pretty easy to remember. The piloting room is like the the control stick. Uh, sensors are the camera, and I can target target his doors if I want to. Not sure why I can't target his. Okay, so that's just the shield room. Um, okay, now defeat the pirate. Okay. All right, so let's go on ahead. I guess I can target it. It just doesn't have the. Uh, Oh wait, that's mine. Never mind. Alright, I hit him. Alright, so I should go on ahead and fire my lasers now. Or I, I should fire my lasers when the shields are down, I guess. So, so I need to hit him with the missile. It wanted to switch to my lasers. Oh, okay, so the missile doesn't actually take the shields down, it just penetrates the shields. I see. So my lasers, my lasers aren't going to do me any good here. Hey, I got him. You gain from left to right some fuel missile scrap and another weapon. Note the re note the reward resources icon correspond to your reserves along the top of the screen. Okay. Halberd system. 
Weapons or drones are added to your cargo if there's no more room in their respective system. So yeah, I guess cargo is just a, uh, that's just like a, a store of stuff that I, I can't currently equip. Left click on the ship info button so we can equip your new weapon, okay? You can see more detailed information about your weapons, drones, or augments by mousing over them. Click and drag your new halberd beam over the Artemis to swap them out. I kind of like the Artemis, but I'm assuming this is better if it's giving it to me. Uh, normal damage 2, damage per room hit 2, charge time 17 seconds, charge time 11 seconds. So this takes way more charge time and power. Hmm. Slow but reliably, reliably powerful standard beam weapon. Can't, not sure this is better based on based on the stats here. Uh, I'm sure there's some some reason to use the halberd beam instead of the Artemis. Duke says no advice, so let's try to work with that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not. I, I won't be able to read the chat like as uh, as much as I normally do. So uh, hopefully. I mean, I, yeah, I would appreciate it if you would keep the advice to a minimum. Just, like, basic basic gameplay things are fine. Like, you have to click on whatever to activate whatever, but, like, no no strategy stuff. And, yeah, if I, like McGax says, if I need help, then, then I'll say. Well, your weapon system is not upgraded enough to support your new weapon. Open your ship screen back up so we can fix this, okay? And also upgrade your reactor at the bottom, which is important for keeping everything fully powered. Subsystems do not need power from the reactor. Okay, so this is like my experience points, I guess. <laughs> Interesting. And this would be how much, uh, how much experience I need to to upgrade it. So I guess I, guess I should keep keep doing the weapons since that's what the arrow is pointing at. Now power your new weapon, okay? And rearrange your weapons in the weapon system toolbar by clicking and dragging, okay? Gotcha. Your weapon system is damaged. This order determines the order they are depowered right to left. Oh, okay. So, with my current setup, my halberd beam will go before my lasers do. So I should probably... Hmm. Well, I don't know. The lasers take much less time to power up. And they re they require much less power, so maybe maybe uh, they're like the, the more important of my uh, of my two weapons currently. I'm not sure. That's it for the basics. Good luck out there. All right, so tutorial over with. Uh, let's go ahead and start up a new game. Okay, so you can unlock different ship types, and I only have the, the basic ship right now. Uh, can't change the layout yet. Okay, so I have three crew members, so if you want to be on my crew, uh, let me know. Uh, say say I want to be in your crew, and the first three people to reply will will be on, on the star bump. Stick is the best crew member. Lulu says name. Okay, CPC Gamer. Radigan Conagher. Just Drops is not this time. Was it, Were you saying you want to be on the ship, Lulu? Is that why you said name? Because you want me to name a crew member after you? Because if not, I'm going with Kostya. Name it Lulu because of sync. I don't know what that means. Okay, so you, so you want to be on the ship. You were the first person to say, I think. So, that'll be you, and then... CPC Gamer and uh, Radigan Conager was the third person. If it has room for that whole name, otherwise it'll just be Radigan. Uh, wait, how is that spelled? Hold on. I have to scroll my thing back up. C-O-N-A-G-H-E-R. 
Oops. <clears throat> Name one after yourself. Well, I'm I'm like the commander. I, I'm not even part of the crew. You know, I, I'm I'm the the main starship guy. So. Radigan C. Okay, good enough. Uh, <clears throat> is there, so is there a difference between these guys? Someone said this person was the best. Humans are common and uninteresting. Skills improve slightly faster. Okay, well, I can customize them. Oh, okay. So I can change their uh, their icon if I want. Wait, what, what was this one on? It was, it was her, right? Okay. That the inanimate carbon rod deserves a metal mechanic. Duke, that makes no sense. You have to exist there. Okay, well, sorry, little ruse. Maybe next time. I, I thought I would have more than three crew members. Uh, I was hoping I'd be able to to name like the whole name like a bunch of people in the chat room. Okay, well, if that's going to be me, then I need to change the icon to something something impressive. Uh. This guy has like nice broad shoulders. He looks like a real, a real linebacker. And CPC gamer, you can be, uh, you can be this gentleman just so I can tell us apart. And then Rad Radigan, I guess Radigan can be the lady. If you're not a lady in real life, then I apologize if you're offended. But you shouldn't be because there's nothing wrong with being a lady. Are you going to enable the advanced edition content? Yeah, I guess. Why not? New systems, weapons, alien race, the more recommended for experienced players. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe since this is my first time ever playing, I should leave this off for now and maybe turn this on later. Because I don't want to play on easy. All right. Well, uh, I guess I've I guess I've been stalling long enough. It's time to it's time to get the show on the road. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave this off for now, just uh, just to kind of get my get my bearings, get my feet wet. I, I mean, I'm sure I'll die pretty pretty quickly. Advanced edition makes it way more interesting. I like the game before I love it now. Well, I'll probably die in about ten minutes minutes or so. So once I do, I can start a game with all that stuff enabled. All right, let's start. Fighting an asteroid field is dangerous, but use it to your advantage. Take out enemy shields and let the rocks take care of the rest. Alright, so right now I am... I'm in, uh... <clears throat> I'm in a peaceful area, I guess. There are, there are no enemies around. Toggle to active... I guess that should be activate. Activate or deactivate weapons automatically firing. Left control plus aim can force a weapon to do the opposite of a current setting. Oh, so I guess like if I want to target one one room over and over again, then I would set the auto fire on. Like if I want to target the uh Like if I want to target piloting over and over again. I I guess actually targeting piloting probably I should probably stick with the uh, the essential systems because that that would mess my enemies up a lot more than than targeting the piloting would. Although that does help them evade, so it doesn't make it harder; it just adds more variety. Well, the thing about that is uh, there seems to be a lot to this game, and I'm going to have to kind of keep it keep it all straight in my head. And the more stuff there is to keep straight, the harder that'll be for me. So. So basic edition for now, advanced edition later. All right. So I mean, I I, I guess this this is my goal. Um, I just want to travel as far as possible. I'd say beginning of sector two. Oh, okay. I see. So this whole area is sector one. Once I get here, then I guess uh, that'll be the jump to sector two. I wonder why this one has like a little aura. Oh, the nebula here will make fleet pursuit slower, but will disrupt your sensors. All right, well, let's uh, let's get started. Okay, so this is my first actual fight. Uh, if functional with a crew member, the enemy can dodge your shots. Replenishes the enemy's ship's oxygen supply. Powers the enemy's projectile blocking shields. Charges the enemy FTL drive and powers evasion. 
powers the enemy's weapons. Alright, so... Alright, first thing I have to do is arm my weapons then. Correct? So, once those are up and functional, then, then I'll figure out what I'm actually going to target here. Alright, so my Artemis missiles are ready. Okay, so that was my, my med bay that just took a point of damage there. So, uh, so that, that is no longer functional. You cannot heal crew. So I should probably send someone there to, to start repairing that. I, I don't need someone on, on my, uh, on my engines right now. So CPC Gamer, I'll send you to the med bay. Let's see, I'm piloting the ship, right? Yes. Okay. So... Radigan, you're you're manning the weapons, so you need to fire the missiles at. Uh, I, I can't see where they actually have people manned, which is which is kind of interesting. I mean, I, I guess there's no reason I would have that information. Um, let's go for the oxygen oxygen supply. You know, if I cut off the oxygen, then the crew members will be uh, will be in trouble. And if there are no crew members, then then I don't have to worry about getting attacked. So let's try that. Oh wow, they're surrendering. That's cool. Yeah, I'll take your offer. Why not? Can I still <laughs> can I still fight them even after I accept the terms of their surrender? That'd be kind of a dick move. Oh wait, no, I, I guess not. I, I guess I can't actually target them anymore. Okay, well, uh, I guess that that worked out pretty well for me. We do not accept surrender. Yes, we do. I don't know what ship you're on, CPC Gamer. I totally accept surrender. If I no longer have to fight, then then I'm okay with that. All right, so I, I okay. So right click on these to disengage them. Interesting. Okay, so I have 18 uh, pieces of scrap or whatever that is. Uh, 18 18 upgrade units. I can upgrade my engines if I want. Um. Which would let me dodge better, and it would let me travel faster. Okay, so I can't actually upgrade these guys. At least I don't, I don't think I can. N not yet, anyway. Okay, so I don't have anything cool in my cargo. Uh, Alright, well, I guess I'm, I'm done here. I'm not going to upgrade my engines just yet. I'm going to hang on to what I have. I am massively aggressive when I play this game. Well... You're on the star bump now, soldier. We don't, uh, we don't take any unnecessary risks. That's that's kind of my mo. Oh wait, there's a distress beacon here. Oh wow. Well, it's out, it's out of my way, but I would probably get better loot if I actually, if I actually check this out. So I guess I'll do that. We used our last FTL fuel to jump to the station. The war must have spread to this sector. We've been stranded ever since. Give them fuel. Apologize. Wish them luck and continue on. Well, how much fuel do I have? 16. I, I don't know. Don't know how much that is. Like, in terms of, of me actually being able to travel. It would be a quarter of, a quarter of my fuel supply. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I mean, I'm still... This is the experimental phase of this game. I need to, need to try new stuff and see what happens, so... Have a look at the sector scans we took. Your map is updated. Interesting. Possible merchant location. Beacon coordinates appear to be very close to a nearby sun. You should assign your crew to different positions so they provide active. Well, okay, well, <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll figure this stuff out as I play. So, you know, no, no need to, no need to tell me that stuff. I, I wish it told me like how much fuel it, it would take to travel to one of these locations because I, I'm not sure how I'm not sure how far twelve fuel will actually get me. Should I, should I make my way to the store because that, that would probably be. Be a good idea to check out. On the other hand, I might need to conserve my fuel as much as possible. Um, let's just press on, see if I can make it to sector two. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll come across another store. Duke's playing the nice guy. Well, you know, 
Uh, you, you scratch a few backs and maybe you'll get yours scratched. Okay, so that was only one fuel unit to go to an adjacent uh, location. They're looking for some military supplies and are offering to try to improve your reactor in exchange. So I'd have to give them three fuel, two missiles, and two... What are these? I, f I, f I forget what this one is. That seems like a lot. I'm, I'm not sure... I mean, how much will you improve my reactor? I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens, I guess. Maybe it'll upgrade my reactor, like, super... Like, it'll upgrade it a lot. It upgraded it by one, which uh, I don't... I'm not sure how uh, how I feel about that one. Not sure that was a, a good trade. So where are these? Drone parts. Using a drone consumes one drone part. I, I haven't learned anything about drones yet. I don't think I have any of those. I'm going to try not to give too much advice. Sorry, it's, it's all good. Just, uh... You know, st strategy stuff, I'd rather, I'd rather not, uh not get advice on just yet. Weird that I can open each of these doors individually. I wonder wonder why I would do that instead of just sending a person to a room. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'm done here. Um, a little worried about my fuel supply. I mean, I, I have more than enough to make it to the exit, so I should be... should hopefully be okay. Alright, so this is the one with the nebula, which will disrupt my sensors. I'm, I don't think that's something I want to have to deal with. And and it's experiencing an ion storm. So yeah, I will avoid this location. Oh wait, there's a distress beacon down here. Who answer the distress call or conserve fuel and try to make it to the exit. Um, it's so interesting to watch Duke play a blind. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Let's answer the, the distress beacon. What the heck? M more fuel is always around the corner. You know, Space God will provide. Oh hey, I got four missiles and 15 uh, ship parts. Wow, that's pretty good. 15 scrap. Alright, well I should be able to up upgrade something pretty pretty good now. Uh, can I upgrade? Okay, I can't upgrade these yet. Only two more. I I'm going to go with my assumption that... Uh, that weapons is probably the thing that I want to put most of my resources into just because you know the best defense is a good offense the faster I kill the enemy the less damage it can deal to me etc etc uh, so yeah that was worth it that, that was worth one fuel I mean these missiles will will definitely uh, be essential all right so I can either go back back the way I came or I can go through the nebula. I think I want to avoid the nebula, actually. It would cost me one extra fuel to go around, but... But like I said, Space God... Sp space Jesus will provide. Alright, so... Let's go to this... Oh wait, there's another store up here now. Wait, what is this? The rebels have control of this location. So the rebels are, like, advancing? The rebels are about to gain control of, control of this beacon. Well, that sure doesn't sound like something I can do anything about. Um, I, I am not equipped to take on all of, all of these rebels. I, I think I'm... I mean, I, I guess I could stop by the store since it's sort of on my way. I mean, not really. It's one extra step. But maybe maybe I can buy fuel at the store. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you on your ship. Demand the surrender of their goods and avoid the ship. Well, hey, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not a pirate. I'm. I'm not going to. Uh, they stay outside your weapon range and eventually jump away. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I'm not going to be like a scourge. All right, let's head to the store. There's only one other ship at this beacon, and it is showing heavy damage. Oh, okay. Oh, I can hire their crew members? That's kind of cool. I mean, it's expensive. Alright, so I can buy six units of fuel for three scrap. I, I think I should probably buy some fuel. 
Oh wow, my hole, my hole is still damaged. That's that's something. Uh, for for some reason, it didn't occur to me that uh, that I would have to pay money to repair this. But I guess that makes sense. Cloaking. Rebel scum is after me. Yeah. Adding 60 to your evasion. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna buy. Oh wait, that only gives me one. The the times five is how many I have. Well, three scrap from one fuel isn't quite as good of a deal. Uh, let, let's get let's get one more, I guess. Oh, I can sell stuff too, but I don't have anything. Unless I want to sell my weapons, which doesn't sound like a very good idea. Um, what's this? FTL jammer. Doubling the time it takes for them to jump. Hmm. Alright, well, I think I want to hold on to the rest of my resources. I mean, I bought two fuel. Oh, okay, this is how many they have. So I can buy three more fuel from them if I want to. I might want to just actually go ahead and max that out. Because if I run out of fuel, I'm going to have a bad time. Alright, so, yeah, I'll, I'll buy all of your fuel. Thank you. Alright, so two more, uh, jumps until I make it to the exit. Possible ship detected. Okay. Boy, having that map data filled out was seems pretty, pretty useful. Because I know exactly which, which of these locations, uh, I'm going to get into a fight. So this one is probably not, not going to be a fight there. Unless my map data is not accurate. Well, I mean, I have to help. Engage the automated ship. Alright, so what is this? Enemy combat drone. Repeatedly attacks your ship. Can be shut down by damaging the enemy ship drone system. Which I'm assuming is that. Okay, um, well, I guess that, that would be a good place to start then, because uh, I'm not sure not sure how much these drones are going to hurt me. So let's go ahead and power up my weapons. Alright, so what just got hit? Oh, okay, just, uh, just a random room. So the only, the only damage I took was hull damage, it looks like. Alright, so let's, uh... Let's go ahead and see if I can take out these drones, and then see if I can get get a laser shot in. Well, they only have one one unit of shields, so I should be able to take out their shields in one hit, and then get one hit on them with the laser. All right, that seems to have gone pretty well. That drone disappeared. Shields critical. Okay, so uh, Radigan, you get down here and start repairing the shields. Uh, I guess I don't ha actually have to have someone in the weapons room to, to man the weapons. Alright. Missiles. Okay, that that's not... It's orange, which means it's... I'll destroy it to shut them down. So, it's taking damage, but it's not out of commission yet. So, so let's hit it with one more missile, and then I'll hit, I'll hit his weapon systems with my laser. Okay, so red means, does red mean destroyed, or does that mean critical? I'm, I'm not, I, I think, it, I'm pretty sure it said red's me, red means it's destroyed. So, drones out of commission. Okay, my shields are back, good. Let's, uh, let's take care of these weapons. Hopefully... Hopefully I'm not making a mistake by going... Okay, cool, I took out his weapons. So I can probably go easy on the missiles for a while. Because he won't, they won't be able to fire back. So I, I, I took out the two most critical systems, I think. Let's, uh, let's go after the shields next. Aw, bogus. Duke O2. Oh. <clears throat> I didn't notice that that was uh, that was an oxygen room. Okay, so my shield my shields are back in back in good shape, I think. So uh, Radigan, you go work on the oxygen. Oxygen draining. 
Well, I'm still at 64%, so hopefully... Oh, that seems to be draining pretty fast, though. Alright. For some reason, I thought that was an un... an un... uh... an unoccupied room. Alright. Alright, took him out. Sweet. My first actual real grown-up battle. It was a science vessel. They offer a small reward. Oh, well, that was worth it, I guess. <laughs> the crew doesn't need O2. Alright, so I, I guess the more people I send here, the faster it repairs. I'm, I'm not sure that's, that's... that seems... that seems reasonable. Okay. O2's back in good shape. Good. Oh, my engines were partially powered. That might, uh, that might be affecting my ability to dodge. Alright, well, I, f I feel like that could have gone worse. I went away from my oxygen, too, to replenish before I... Okay, so when I have two units of power here, my evade is 15%. With only one, it was 10%. Without any, it's 0%. Okay, that should be good enough. Alright, so uh, let's head to the exit. We are almost done with Sector 1. When the FTL drive is charged, I can jump to the next sector. So which one is the FTL drive again? This is an automated merchant. Refill this vessel with fuel and it will supply you with drones. So I can give up two fuel to use to get two drones. I don't know if I can use drones yet. I mean, I, I don't have a drone, a drone bay or whatever, unless it's like an, a non-critical system or something. I, I think I'd rather hang under the fuel. I appreciate it though. Oh, okay. So the FTL drive is just, uh, it's, it's the same thing that I use to, to jump around the map. Next sector. Let's go. Ooh, Uncharted Nebula and Zoltan controlled. Alright, so green is civilian, so that's good. So neither of these are hostile. Uh, well, I'm assuming civilian means that we're on good terms, and then they might actually help me out. So, so let's head there. Let's see what I can find about find out about these Zoltans. It's not clear whether the authorities will have any goodwill remaining. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. Uh, to. Uh, drain one of my critical systems, so I will be right back. Alright, back to the action. I think this is going pretty well for my first time ever playing. I survived longer than I thought I would. Of course, that's mostly because I'm going at an infuriate what I'm sure it's, is an infuriatingly slow pace. But, you know, it takes time to learn. Liquid waste ejection system, exactly. Uh, sh so should I upgrade my weapons again? Oh, I actually, that's probably not a good idea, because that will that will require four units of power and I don't, I don't have enough units of power to to support all of it <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I, I have that right so five six seven nine one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah these don't require power so I can upgrade these with impunity um, I can get 50 percent evasion evasion 
That, wow, that seems that seems pretty good. I might want to put my put some of my scrap there. Upgrading adds autopilot that allows some evasion even without a pilot. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, let's try it. Level 2, auto 50% evasion, manned evasion plus 5. So how come it still says 15%? Hmm. Maybe, uh... Maybe, uh, maybe I'm reading that wrong. I don't know. Okay. Less than a minute to drain bladder. Well, you know, I've had a lot of practice, so... I, uh... I, d I definitely know what I'm doing on that front. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I just head to the exit then. Because I don't have any map data in this sector. Small rebel ship is docked at a small station. You try to lay low, but it spots you. Oh, well. Looks like, uh, combat has engaged, so let's... Okay, so my weapons are already powering up. Can I, like... I guess I can go on ahead and target something, and then when they're charged, they'll, they'll just automatically fire, right? Alright, so this guy doesn't have any drones. Uh, let's go after the weapons. I think taking out the weapons first is a pretty good idea. He only has one unit of shield, so I should be able to, to get a hit in with my lasers. I think you didn't upgrade. Oh, really? Well... It's too late for me to go back to the upgrade screen now. I'm, I'm pretty sure I hit accept though. I I, I use my my scrap. All right, weapons we, weapon system has been taken down for the for the time being. I got hit, but it's just a just a flesh wound, so to speak. Uh, oh wait, my weapons got hit as well. Okay, partially damaged. So let's uh. Oh, I guess I can't add power back to them until they're repaired. So, Radigan, you go on ahead and do that. Oh yeah, my, my lasers are, are down. That sucks. Well, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's, go after, let's go after their shields, make them a little easier to hit, hopefully. Alright. Hmm, I might want to be more conservative with my missiles. They're repairing their weapons, so let, let's uh, let's keep up the pressure on their weapons. See see if I can prevent them from 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 getting their weapon system back online. I think I missed. Oh wait, no. Oh, I didn't miss. Okay, great. All right, so all of my systems are looking good for the time being. Whoa, hole at seventy five percent. Shields critical. Okay, so. Uh, Radigan, you're on you're on repair duty for for most things. Um, CPC gamer, stop stop uh, loitering in the oxygen section. You need to. Uh, I don't know what you need to do. Help help Radigan repair stuff, I guess. And let's go after the weapon system again. I, I guess I can use another missile. Why not? You have cl clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. Ooh, halberd beam. Uh, you know, you guys, you guys attacked me. I, I don't know if I should, if I should show mercy on you because I'm sure you have a lot more stuff than this. And you know, I ha I have you on the ropes. So let's uh, let, let let's be mean. How are my shields doing? Oh wait, they're not. They didn't make. They did not make it to the shield room. All right, so laser, uh, let's let's hang on to our missiles for now. Laser, you go after the go after the shields. Nice. All right, go after the weapons when when that's back online. One one more hit should I should take him out. I think. Nice. Leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Wait a second. What? What? 
what what about the the weapon where that sucks did I, did I did I blow it up should, should I have not gone after the weapons huh what happened to being a nice guy well you know I was a nice guy to those first rebels and they're still attacking me I didn't know I would blow it up. I, I thought I thought if I I thought if I actually killed them, I would get whatever they were offering, plus more stuff. No more Mr. Nice Guy for Duke. Well, maybe maybe I should be nice if if I'll get a weapon out of it. Uh, let's. I should probably upgrade my. I don't know. Eighty percent evasion. That sounds pretty pretty good. And I won't have to. Well, I don't have enough enough gears for that yet. Um enough scrap they were like hey we'll give you this to you if you let us surrender well I thought if I killed them I, I'd be able to take all that stuff and then I would get more stuff out of it <clears throat> I mean I assumed that once I destroyed them I would be able to you know take everything Duke shows his true colors well you know uh, I, I, I was having a bad day I I got up on the wrong side of the bed. Um, let's ha let's hang on to my scrap, I guess. Let's uh, let's get out of here. All right, so these are both nebulas that will disrupt my sensors, but they're the only ways I can go. Well, I, I can go here, but then once I go here, I'll have to either go through nebulas anyway, or go back to these locations, and I, I don't want to make reverse progress, so. Let's uh, well, let's see see what this nebula has. Evasion doesn't really work the way you think it does. Without knowing what is out there, all you can do is wait for your FTL to charge. Oh, so I can get ambushed while I'm here. Well, it's, well, it's charged, so I might as well uh, might as well push through the nebula section as fast as possible. It's a distress beacon down here. Your pilot gives you in percent of that, so if your engine grants evasion of 20 and your pi pilot gives 80%, you have 16% evasion. Oh, I see. So this is the evasion my engines are giving me. Yeah, I'll help. Oh, maybe I should have read the rest of that. <laughs> Simply fire on the distance. Well, that's my only option, so <laughs> I guess that's the option I'll go with. The station will need to find help elsewhere. Oh, sorry, guys. All right, so can I can I repair my hull from here? Can I use my scrap to to repair my hull? I, I guess not. I guess that's something that you have to do at a store. Well, that's a bummer. All right. Well, let's, let's get all my systems back online. The game is pretty good for cutting out unnecessary waiting. If you're out of danger, the FTL drive powers automatically. Oh, okay. So, so I, I guess if I was in the nebula and there was something there that, that posed a threat to me, it wouldn't have let me just automatically jump away. Alright, so I can't just like go into this room and start repairing the hull, right? Wait, 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 wait. Why why is Duke dying? What's uh What's going on here? Oh I guess since the hole's breached, he's like uh Oh man. You need to uh Yeah, there you go. So that that's interesting. Was that was that actually like was that affecting my, my total hit points? Oh I guess that's as much as I can repair it. Okay. Uh, okay, well, um, I'm sitting at pretty close to 50% health, which, uh, I'd feel better if that was higher, but, but I should be okay. 
<clears throat> Wait, it still says there's a distress beacon here. Huh. Is there anything else I can do here? I guess not. Oh well. Uh, I guess let's just get out of here. The oxygen in that room drain. Yeah, that makes sense. As they give you the formal tour of their ship, you spy some local star charts and mentally log the details. Oh, cool. Well, that's nice of you. So there's a distress beacon here and a store here. So let's let's check out the distress beacon. Make sure I read everything this time, and uh, and then hit the store. Not breathing kills you. So my uh, my memories from ninth grade health class are correct. You do need oxygen to live. It's a mystery what happened to the crew, but they'd be ashamed to let opportunity go to waste. Oh, cool! Wow, that's that's pretty good. Thirty scrap and three fuel for nothing. I'll take it. All right. So right now I have fifteen percent of fi of I have fifty percent of 15% and I could have 80% of 15% if I upgrade this one more however if I upgrade my engines then that'll upgrade my base dodge uh, that would upgrade the base from 15 which means there would be 5 when, when that room is actually manned Duke I demand souls well I haven't found any yet but, but once I find some I will uh, I will make sure you get your fair share alright so I should probably let's upgrade my my power which cost me 20, which gives me... See, my, my engines are actually pretty cheap to upgrade. So that this this is actually probably a better investment right now than upgrading my piloting. So let's add one to that. Oh man, one more and I could upgrade my weapons by one. But I mean, it wouldn't help me since I don't have enough power for that anyway. So let's go ahead and upgrade my power by one more. Oh, you know what? I should hold on to some of this. So I, I have money, resources to repair myself when I get to the store. Okay. <clears throat> so I guess this is just letting letting me know that there was a distress beacon here. Not not necessarily that there's one there at the moment. All right. An alien knickknack shop. So it would cost me 28 to repair everything. Which, I should probably do that. And then I could buy two fuel as well. I mean, it'd be nice if I could afford some of this other stuff. I could, if I had 85, I could actually be able to use my four drones that I have. Or I could cloak myself. That sounds pretty useful. But survival is more important. So let's fix everything. Up my fuel. And I'm good to go. My ship is once again in ship shape. So there's a possible ship here, but I'm not uh, I'm not going out of my way and using extra fuel to avoid them. So there's one more store on the way to the exit too that I want to hit. <sighs> okay. I mean, you can't you can't avoid conflict forever. We did not fight a word to let a single Federation ship shatter our dreams of a better galaxy. Alright, so what am I up against here? Rebel Rigger. Well, they have drones. So I should probably target those first. I, I don't know exactly what the drones do, though. Alright. So once my... They only have one, one shield as well, so... So that's good. My lasers are actually useful against them. So let's take out the drones first, then go after the weapons. Alright, so what just got hit? Just, uh... Oh wait, I need to... I forgot to power my engines up more. It doesn't automatically do that, I guess, when, when, I, when I upgrade it. So this room is on fire. That's that's not good, right? Uh, 
Uh, I should probably have somebody put put that out. That, that's... Will, will they just automatically put it out if they go there? I guess so. Alright, well the drones are taken care of. Let's target the weapon system. Okay, so yeah, he's, he's putting out the fire. Or I should say I'm putting out the fire. But I'm also taking damage just by being in that room. <clears throat> how, many, how many missiles do I have? Six? Okay. Well, the weapons are down. Let's, uh... Oh, they only have a couple hit points left. So let's just keep keep the pressure up on the weapon system. Keep an eye on Duke's health. Make sure... You know, you probably shouldn't stand in the fire, Duke. Oh, God. Alright, so... Uh, Duke, you need to... Do I have him selected? Yeah. You, you need to get out of that room. And then... Let's see, who else do I have here? Uh, Radigan, you... You work on putting the fires out, I guess. Although it, it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like that was very effective. Um... Alright, so I missed. Oh no, I did one point of damage, so... They, they should... They should be, uh... Oh, actually, you know what? I should send Duke to the health base, so we, so we... No, not you. You put out the fire. There you go. There we go. But I have to keep an eye on Radigan's health now. Wow, he... <laughs> they really can't take much damage. Much... They can't spend that much time in, uh, in a room filled with fire, I guess. Okay, so you, you need to go in there, and I need to target their weapon systems again. Aw, oh, man. I missed? Really? Man, they got their drones back online pretty quickly. They're almost dead, though, so... I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit worried about that fire. Augment Scrap Recovery Arm. Ooh. That sounds good. Alright, so what do I do about this fire? Oh, it said something about like opening the doors to put the fire out, right? Does that, uh... Because these are like airlock doors? Oh crap, my shields are in trouble. Alright. You guys need to get in here and do whatever you can do. Oh hey, that worked! Alright, you guys, uh, you guys need to take care of those shields. CPC Gamer, you, you help. Alright, sh shields back online. You guys, uh, you, you guys go heal up a little bit. Alright, uh, well, that could have gone worse, I guess. My hole didn't, didn't sustain too much damage. Is that drone still, still hovering around out there? I guess since I blew up the ship, the drone doesn't know what to do. Can I, like, capture the drone or something? Oh, actually, let's see what that scrap recovery arm does. Allow the ship to collect 10% more scrap from any source. Interesting. Do I have to, like, install it? Or... I, I guess not. I guess it's just automatically, uh, automatically installed. Ugh, no scrap recovery arm. Why, is that bad? Doesn't seem that bad to me. Alright, so I have two more points before the exit. And I'll be able to, I'll be able to hit one more store on the way. The Zoltan ship is waiting in this beacon. They request your identification, but radiation from the sun in the system is disrupting your communications. They take your silence for aggression. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing people in real life don't take silence for aggression. Because I probably would have gotten my butt kicked several times by now. Uh, okay. So, just one unit of shield still. Uh. No drones. I was thinking of some other system. Oh, okay. 
Alright, so uh, let's go after the weapons. How many missiles do I have? Six? I can probably probably use a couple here. Oh wait, I guess they Oh, I guess the bar is like how many or how how strong the how strong their shields are. That's, that's interesting. That works that's different than how it worked in the tutorial. In the tutorial, it was just one one of these for like every hit point that the shields had. Or may maybe I missed them and that's why. I w I'm gonna keep the pressure up on the weapons. I, I know it said not that you shouldn't attack red, red, uh, red ship systems, but they seem to repair it pretty quickly. So I'd like to keep their weapons suppressed if at all possible. Well, so far, so good. Oh, they have a Zoltan shield, says Kasha. I, I guess that works differently than, than the normal shield. Alright, slow and steady. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Maybe I should man the sensors. Maybe that would let me actually see what the what the enemies are doing and like where where I should be focusing my resources. All right, let's hit the store and then hit the exit. Operate their black market trade without detection. Oh, interesting. Never played this before, but you forgot to close the doors, I think. Did I? I'll have to have to take a look at that. Well, I can get another crew member. My hole my hole's pretty good. I can probably uh probably leave that alone for now. Man, ship systems are expensive. Purchase comes with free system repair drone. Ooh. Do I have anything to sell? I can sell this for 25. Mm, wouldn't give me enough for drone control though. And I don't have anything to sell. I, I would only be two away from being able to get drones. That's a shame. Well, I guess I'll I guess I'll hang on to my money for now. Or or I can upgrade some stuff. Hmm. Well, I'd have to pay 25 to upgrade this if I want to upgrade any of these. Yeah, I I I'll hang on to my money. I have 10 fuel. Uh, I, I picked up some fuel on the way here, so I, I should be good for a little while. Man, these, these guys are uh, these guys are on my tail. I should uh, I should get out of here. Intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found. Well, oh, heck yeah, I'll investigate that. Six-legged horse-like animals. Oh wow! Reactivated NG. What's a Starger? Is that like a kind of drone? Oh! Oh! I, ha I have one of them in my... In my crew now. I thought that was... I thought that was a ship. But it's an alien. Repair speed is double. Combat damage inflicted is halved. Oh, nice. I, I got some... Uh, some scrap as well. Well, dang. Now I kind of want to head back to the store. Sell my uh, my scrap recovery arm and get get one of those drone systems, but if I do that, I'll probably be <laughs> be pushing my luck with these with these rebels. I can rename him. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I I 
I, f I forget who the next person in line to be in my crew was. Um, well, put my oh yeah, that's right. Will the ruse got booted, so I will uh, I will let him be the alien, him or her. So, crew. Lola Roots. It's a fitting name for an alien. Add me to the list if you would. Okay, yeah, Oxbow, you're, you're definitely next on the list. Uh, once once I get a new person or start a new game. I have, I have to say, uh, I, I thought this would... I, I thought I would die much sooner in this game. Um, I, I didn't realize that, that one, one run of this would take as much time as it is. But uh, I'm having fun. All right, next sector. Uh, I can go to an Uncharted Nebula or, ooh. Well, I have an Ingi on my ship, so maybe that means, maybe that means they'll be nicer to me since since one of them is is working for me now. So that's what I'll check out. The only way I'm joining is if he gets the Hermit event, Kappa. Well, I'm not sure what that is, so well, let me know what that happens. The fall of the Federation. Oh, the Ingi are like robots. They're not the six-legged horse monsters. That's why. That's why I thought it was a ship. Ooh, two stores right off the bat. Well, if I go here, that'll be. Uh... Hmm. If I go well, if I go here, then I'll have to take this. Okay. So it wouldn't actually, like, be that much out of my way. I don't think I have enough scrap to really buy anything yet, though. But let's try it. Maybe there maybe there will be something worth, worth selling my scrap arm for. Engine upgrade necessary. Sale of... Oh, okay. So they're selling stuff to try to get their engines back online. I see. Allows you to send your crew members to board enemy vessels. That sounds potentially potentially useful. But I kind of want drone control. I mean, I have six drones just sitting here not doing anything. And I, I don't know how much use the scrap recovery arm is giving me. So I can get 25 from this and then buy Then I can buy a drone control system. So that's what I will do. Oh, drag equipment into this box to sell them. Okay. Drone control. Yes. All right, where's my robot dude? Lol the ruse. Okay. Do I need to man my, my drone system? I'm not sure if I do or not. Oh, here it is. Oh, that's right, it requires power. Ah, I, I didn't think about that. Well, that sucks. Well. Not enough power. Yeah, and I, I don't, there's nothing I can really take power away from. Well, once I get a little bit more scrap, I can upgrade my, uh, upgrade my power system and get my drones online. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. He looks worn down but hungry. I'll have to fight. Okay. It's a pirate bomber. That sounds bad. Okay, cool. So I can actually see like the people in the ship now. That's helpful. So <clears throat> let's uh, let's go after the weapons. You know, stick with what's working. I'm running a little on missiles, which is a, li a little troubling. Um, once I get my drones online, then I can uh, m maybe those can be like an adequate replacement for my for the missiles. If, if I do run out of missiles. Alright, what, what else can I man? I can man my doors. I'm not really sure, sure how much good that would do me. So I, I guess manning the weapons... Oh, manning reduces charge time, okay. Well, my, I can't do anything with the drones yet, so Lola Ruse, you, you take care of the weapons. Manning increases dodge chance, I see. So 
So I, I should keep someone. I should really keep keep someone here, here, and here at all times, and only have them in my oxygen or my med bay if if they're if they're in need of repair. So I need to let's see. Lotharus is heading towards the weapons. Uh, I'll go here and CPC gamer. I'm not sure if if having my sensors manned or my or my weapons manned would be more useful. L let's keep the sensors on for a little while, just just so I can see like the effects of my actions. Oh wait, no, you need to go in here. Whoa, they have missiles too. That sucks. Why why is this room red? I, I guess this is the room where my hull is damaged. But I didn't think my hull being damaged that that low wouldn't make it red like that. Manning doors adds a level to them. Okay. Alright, well, uh keep the pressure on the weapons and See if I can take take out their oxygen. I mean, if I kill their crew members, then that that might be a more efficient way of taking them out than than just piecemeal. Wish I could use these drones. Your ship is surprisingly well equipped. Please take this and let us live. Hermes missile. Okay. So I should accept their offer this time, since they're actually giving me equipment. If I blew them up, then I if I or if I blow them up, I probably won't get the equipment. Every weapon is useful in this game, says Kasha. So yeah, I'll I'll accept your offer. All right, so let's uh, let's add a power. Well, required power three. Requires missile. Okay, so this is like an upgraded version of my Artemis. However, it requires more power. I could... If I add one to my reactor, then I, I can equip my Hermes instead of the Artemis. And get the uh, get the extra damage for that. Normal damage 3, normal damage 2, shield piercing 5, shield piercing 5. So my damage would be increased by 1. It also takes longer to charge. Oh wait, no. Upgrading my, my reactor by one wouldn't let me use this because Artemis only requires one, so I wouldn't be able to replace it. Well, let's go ahead and upgrade my reactor anyway, since I'm going to I'm going to need to upgrade this by like three or four if I want to use all, all my weapons and my my drones. Did they improve the chances of getting weapons and surrender deals? I don't know. It's possible. All right. <clears throat> So let's see. The the main question I have to ask myself is what do I want to keep manned? I mean, if I keep this manned, then that gives me 50% of my 25% evasion. If I keep this manned, then it's evasion plus 5. So I definitely want to keep both of those. I'm not sure what the difference between dodge and evasion is. Maybe they're just different words for the same thing. I, I have noticed that some of the some of the language in this game, like you can tell, it wasn't developed by people whose first language is English because some of the uh, some of the words are a little a little different than what you would expect. Okay, I think I'm good. I think engines, weapons, and piloting are definitely ones I want to keep manned, um, and keeping my shields manned. Increases shield recharge speed, so that would actually probably be be more useful than the sensors. I think. So CPC gamer, you you take care of that. You're on shield, CPC gamer. Don't let me down. Uh, well, there's a store over here, but I don't have any any scrap, so there's probably no reason for me to go there. Actually, the Des main language is English. Oh, really? I thought this was developed in uh, in a European country, like uh, Sweden or or Finland or something like that. 
complex arrangement of ship hulls and FTL drive capacitors floating abandoned in space suggests the NG were here not too long ago, but no longer. Oh. So just, uh, just a little flavor text, I guess. Nothing... N nothing worth worrying about. Hey, a distress beacon. It's time to be a hero. Could be dangerous. Well, you know, danger is one of my middle names. Strange stasis pod. Ooh, do I want the weapon or do I want to see what the stasis chamber is? Well, I can't. I don't have enough power for the weapons I already have. So let's see what the stasis chamber is all about. Whoa! Oh wait, that's their ship. <laughs> I thought it just said my ship got destroyed. Okay. Perhaps someone else will know how to open it. It has no practical function, but perhaps someone can repair it. Oh, that's cool. I would worry about his missile cache. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little worried about that myself. I have one power bar, but nothing I can put it in yet. See, I, I actually need six if I want to get my Hermes missiles and my drones and my system repair drone all online. So it, it'll be a while. How much? Okay, it takes 25. It seems to be 25 for every one of these, I think. I'm not sure if, this, if the cost for that has actually gone up yet. Which, I hope, I hope that's the case because it's going to take quite a, quite a bit of scrap to upgrade this all the way. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Um, oh, I can go straight to the exit. Cool. So, I don't know if the best strategy is to hit as many of these as I can before the rebels intercept me, or if the best strategy is to just go to the exit as quickly as possible every time. I'm not sure if, like, the sectors get more difficult as you, as you advance, and if so... if it would be worth it to use your fuel to actually, like, to collect resources before I head to the next sector. I mean, I have quite a bit of fuel. If there was, like, another distress beacon around here or something, I would I would go that way. I'm, I'm pretty sure what I want to do in the future is hit as many of these as I, as I can, but... but conserve my fuel like you have to find it you have to find the right balance of like it's it's kind of the typical row like risk versus reward thing like do you spend extra time exploring the level you're on but you know r risk running out of food or do you want to get to the exit as soon as possible so you have more food to continue it's kind of the same thing just like a different a different paradigm They seem to be engaged in battle. One of them has the markings of a space pirate. Heck yeah! Alright, so... Since I don't have someone manning sensors, I can no longer see in, in here, but that's okay. I think my strategy of going for their oxygen system is actually... Is actually pretty good. I want to, uh... I, I want to do, do that. I want to keep the pressure up on their oxygen system, and... Hopefully that will fluster them enough that they can't uh, they can't focus on destroying me. And I want to I'm going to conserve some of, some of my missiles. Let's see how much damage I can do with just my laser for a while. Oh no! Well, I better get someone on the oxygen. Let's see, what do I want to take resources away from? I guess I guess engines are more important than shields, since that gives me evade. So CPC Gamer, you take care of that. So two can play the old oxygen game, huh? I see how it is. Man, they're getting their oxygen back online really quickly. That's kind of a bummer. Okay, CPC Gamer, uh... Alright, I have to keep an eye on his health. 
Okay. You get out of there, uh, CPC Gamer, you head back to Shields, and I will go after the oxygen. Alright, uh, am I targeting the oxygen? No. Go, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, weapons took a hit, but they're, they're still... They're still okay. Oh crap, my, my lasers are offline. That sucks. They took my lasers out before I could get that shot off, too. So let's switch back to missiles. I missed. Alright, who's about to die? CPC Gamer and... I... Okay, we're both about to die, so... Let's head to the... Head to the med bay. What's my robot dude doing? Oh, he, he's... He's repairing my weapons, okay. Alright, I took a hit, but... There's nothing in that room, so... Don't need to worry too much. Alright, so... Missiles... Alright, lasers are back online, good. So... Let's add power back to those and target the oxygen. Ah, crap. That's just what I need. A fire in the engine room. How many missiles do I have left? Just two? Engine's critical. Fudge. Alright, all right, well, Duke and CPC Gamer are both back in the green. Well, let's, let's take care of this fire first. Pretty sure that'll work. And then once I do that... I will send them in there to to repair the engines. Oh, man, Duke is quite lucky with, with dodging those big ass missiles. Well, <laughs> Lola Roo's dying. Really? Wait, why isn't Lola Roo's in my in my list over here? Oh wait, it's because he just died. Okay, sorry, Lola Roo's. That was a that was a pretty bad hit. All right, so you guys need to get in here. My weapons are both on offline now. Oh no, this isn't good. Alright, everyone focus on the weapon system. We need, to, we need to get those back online as soon as possible. Try not to die. Alright, I need to... get out of there. Alright, fire's out. Good. Duke, get back in there. Quit lollygagging. Alright. Uh, let's get my missiles back. And then... Man, I should have been going after their, their weapons instead of the oxygen. Alright, okay. So you guys need to all go repair the engines now. Because not having... Not having engines is definitely not, uh... Whew. Thank God. Oh no! Who, man, who just died? They made a fast retreat while, while I, I just tried... Man, screw you guys! See if I ever help anyone again. Alright, you guys need to get to the med bay. Oh, you know what? I probably should have closed these doors before I send people in there. Ah... <sighs> <laughs> well, that could have gone a lot better. All right, so it's just, it's just you and me, Radigan. <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to be honest, uh, I'm not too optimistic about my chances. I threw CPC out of the airlock. <laughs> sorry, CPC Gamer. Oh, is he still in the chat room? Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully next time will be better. Crap. <laughs> oh, well, let's put Radigan on the engines, I guess. Since those still need to be repaired. <laughs> Unsubbed. <laughs> oh, man. I guess I can help out, since I'm not ready to, to make the jump just yet. Alright, let's take a moment to reflect on what went wrong. The main thing that went wrong 
was that I should have closed these. <laughs> I should have closed these doors. Uh, what what what's the close all door hockey? X. Okay. So if if there are no fires burning, I should probably just hit X to make sure that none of, none of the airlocks are open. <laughs> Things are great. What am I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's answer this distress beacon before I exit. I only have one missile left, that kind of sucks. Destroy and loot the ship, they're just pirates. I, I don't know if I want to actually help them. I might go with option number two. Another pirate ship flashes on, flashes on your radar. Perhaps they saw your deed, or perhaps they want to claim the spoils for themselves. Well, bummer. Uh, okay. Let's get my lasers back online. And I have an extra power thing that's not even being used. That kind of sucks. I should have I should have seen what I can up, could upgrade before I came here. Oh well. Uh, okay, so this time, focus on the weapons. I only have one missile left, which kind of sucks. Uh, I mean, I, I want to be able to dodge as well as possible, so I guess I'll keep Radigan right in the engine room. Let's hope this guy isn't... I mean, their shields are better, which kind of sucks. Actually, once I'm out of missiles, I don't think I'll be able to hit these guys. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Oh, great. Great shot. Well, I am officially out of missiles. Can I do anything with my laser at this point? I mean, I can take their shields down. It's not helping that I keep missing. Does having a person in my weapon room... No, it just reduces charge time. It doesn't actually increase my... Uh, my attack chance. Well, keeping keeping my evade up definitely seems to be helping. Oh, my drone room got destroyed, but I don't have drones anyway. Duke bought the drone bay and not using them. I can't use them. I don't have enough power. I mean, I guess... I guess since my missiles... Since I'm out of missiles, I can put some... I can put some points here. Once I once I repair it. I'm starting to think maybe I should bail. I don't know. I mean, if I use my drones, I might stand a chance. It'll take me a little bit of time to get them crap to get them back online. Why did why did everything go all gray? Oh, no, my holes. Hmm. Can I run? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, my sensors went down. That's why I can't see anything. I can't even see anything on my own ship if my if my sensors go down. I guess if there's not someone in there. All right, well, uh, let's route this power to my drones. Why can't I have one? I have one unit of energy left. Why can't I put it? Put it here. Oh, I guess. I so if I use my drones, I have to use the system repair drone. I can't. Uh... Or okay, maybe that's the only kind of drone I have. Yeah. So so in addition to buying these kinds of drones, I also have to buy drones to equip here. Like not only do I do I have to re replenish my stock, but I also have to uh, have to equip types of drones okay I'm, I'm learning guys well having system repair drones will wait 
Am I, am I losing one every time I do that? No. Oh, so the, the repair drone is inside my ship. Okay. I thought it would be like a, a drone that kind of circles my ship and repairs it that way. So if I take it offline, it's still in my ship. It just can't it just can't do anything. Okay. All right. <clears throat> well, uh Radigan, I guess you're you're back on engines. Uh Oh boy. I kind of want to I kind of want to go back to the store, but I don't think I have time before before the fleet approaches. So Let's just hit the next sector. Slughole Nebula. That doesn't sound good. You're told the Slughole world is somewhere in this nebula. You can't see them, but you know they're watching. So are slugs friendly or not? It didn't really say. Oh, there's a store right here. Nice. I can uh, I can get my stuff repaired. Oh boy, I can't even afford to repair everything. Man, resources in this, in this game are pretty, pretty sparse. Um, I, I mean, I kind of want to buy more missiles, but wait. Okay, well, let, let's. He only has two of them, though. <sighs> let's let's just repair my stuff as much as possible, I guess. Chris Phillips. Hmm. I mean, I hate to spend all my money on this. Alright, well, I got myself back in the green, so let's buy your two missiles. And, uh, do I have anything I want to sell? I mean, I might as well sell, sell my Hermes since I can't even use it at the moment. I don't know. I would only, I'd only get 22 out of it. I'm not sure how much good that will do me. I've never met a slug named Chris Phillips. Uh, not, uh, not recently, no. Well, I guess, uh... Alright, so I, I've already been here. And I have to watch my fuel as well. I'm getting kind of low on that. Can I buy any fuel? Yeah. I can buy one. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Sorry. Okay, uh, all the character names are the names of Kickstarter backers. Oh yeah, I forgot this, forgot this was a Kickstarter game. I guess this is one of the, uh, one of the biggest Kickstarter success stories. Because not only was this game funded, it also, uh, I mean it came out on time and everything. At least I think it did. And, uh, everyone seems to really love it. I, I have to say, even though I'm, uh, I'm still pretty new, new to this game. I'm I'm having fun with it so far. This is really cool. This is a lot less. It's a lot less real time strategy than I thought it was. Like being able to pause it whenever you want definitely helps out. Ooh, oh, mind out of useful materials. That means it doesn't have anything. Wait. 
Are my sensors? Oh. Oh, I didn't put power back in them. That, that's right. Or wait. Oh, okay. So when my when I'm in the nebula, my sensors are totally non-functional. Like, even for the purpose of seeing inside my ship. That's kind of weird. So so if I go into this room, then I'll, I'll be able to see, okay, what's going on there in there. That's weird. Man, this whole thing is nebula too. That sucks. Starbound will eventually have an NPC names and Megak will be in the pool. Oh, that's awesome. I've never backed a Kickstarter at a, at a level that would get my name in the credits or anything. We have been waiting for a customer for ages. Care to see our wares? Well, I only have one, one unit of currency. Some rules of our transaction. These are dangerous times. We accept no trades, coupons, or refunds. Purchases are final. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. What? You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god. So I have intruders on my ship that I can't see because I'm in a nebula. And I, the ship's going to be attacking me as well. Oh my god. Well, I have two missiles, so I guess let's... Uh, Let's make use of them. I'm not sure what I want to do about these intruders, though. I, I guess let's go. Let's go looking for them. See if I can figure figure out where they are. Really, really enjoying the music as well. Okay, there they are. So can I actually attack them? Do do my do my crew members have weapons? Yeah, I guess I guess I'm dealing damage, but I'm I'm gonna die if I have to fight two of those things at once. So I should probably I should probably fight in the med bay so so I can heal while that stuff is going on. And I I'm pretty sure I just completely missed them. Oh wait, no, I I hit them with my missiles. That's good. All right, so my sensors are are down. My drone's repairing it. My drone station is down. And it's on fire. Okay, so I guess that icon means someone's fighting in that room. Or, or maybe... Oh, that means I know that there are intruders in this room because I was just there. Well, I guess they're not going to come into, into the med bay. Alright, so my engine room is on fire, and my drone room is on fire. Okay, uh, Radigan, you're not doing anything. You, well, I mean, you're manning the weapons, but you get in here and help deal with these slugs. Duke, try to keep yourself alive. Alright, so my weapons are still online. I'm out of missiles. My drones are offline, which means my, my re repair drone is still alive, but he's not doing anything at the moment. I'm probably not going to be able to hit them without any missiles since they have two, two shields, and my weapons are down. I think I think I'm in trouble, guys. L losing those crew members really, really hurt me. My my weapon systems are down. Is my uh, my FTL drive charged? I I guess it's not going to charge if it's if it's destroyed, right? Yeah, since since my engine room is down, there's no way I'm going to be able to to run away. <sighs> oh, hey Morris, what's up? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm dead. I, I'm I'm gonna go down with my ship. He did good for a first run. Oh, thank you. One last explosion. Mark your fate as your ship is torn apart. Score 806. More ships defeated. Five.
Damn. So I think next time I play, I'm definitely going to spend more time in the systems before I before I head to the exit. Because things are just going to get more difficult as I progress. And I think I need to... I, th I think I need to spend more time, like, amassing resources before I, before I immediately continue to the next sector. I don't think I... I don't think I unlocked anything on that run. I died in Sector 2 the first time I played, says Morse. Just Drop and Morse Draconis are, are uh, saying that I'm correct in my, uh, my assumption. Man, that, that took a really long time. That took almost two hours just just to do that one run. Uh, as much as I'd like to continue, guys, I uh, I, th I think that's enough for tonight. Uh, thanks everyone for hanging out and watching, uh, watching my first experience with with FTL. Sorry everyone wasn't able to get on the ship this time, but you know, hopefully, hopefully my next run, you know, now that I sort of know what I'm doing, I'll have I'll have a little bit better luck and I'll be able to. Uh, to get more crew members and get more people on the ship. Can I be a crew guy? Yeah, sorry, Costs. Uh, next time I do a stream, uh, I'll definitely, uh, definitely get you on the ship. Uh, but this was a lot of fun. I think I'll do another one sometime, sometime this week, sometime soon, in in a day or two. Two hours for one run. Well, you know, I was playing very slowly. You know, trying to figure out what I was doing, pausing way too often, probably to uh to figure out what i'm doing but yeah uh next run i'm pretty sure will will go more smoothly so thanks everyone thanks to everyone for watching uh hope hope you all enjoyed this this will go up on youtube in in a little bit for anyone who came to the stream late you can you can see uh see my progress and uh let's play wario land video going up tomorrow at 11:30 a.m so be on the lookout for that see you guys later